Hey, what is going on guys? Root of the Nell here, come back at you with some more batch tutorials. Now, in this video we're going to be taking a look at Notepad, which is kind of really weird to say. But we do, if we're going to be trying to create our own batch scripts and our own programs that we can run inside the Windows shell, we need to have a pretty decent text editor. Now, in the last video I used Notepad because it's real simple, it's always installed in most Windows systems, and it's just kind of there. <laughs> I was able to use it and made things real easy. But if you were looking at this from a programmer and like a designer or developer standpoint, you can easily tell that Notepad just kind of sucks. <laughs> There's no color or syntax highlighting. There aren't any line numbers. Um, it saves everything in plain text format. That's awesome. It's what we need. But it doesn't really have any of the nice auto completion for us. It doesn't have um, uh, smart indenting and that sort of thing. So we need, we need to be able to get ourselves a new text editor. And in this case, I want to show you guys what I'm going to be using throughout this whole series. And, and, I, and uh, this is Notepad++. So I'm going to get Firefox started, which is my web browser. You guys can obviously be using whatever you'd like. Maybe it'd be Google Chrome, maybe it'd be Internet Explorer. But when you're at Google, whether you're at the Firefox homepage or whether you're using your toolbar, it doesn't matter, as long as you're going to be using your search engine, you can go ahead and type in, uh, let's say, Notepad++. And that'll take you right to that home page. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the download thing right here. The web page may have changed by the time you actually watch this series and get to do your thing. But, hey, for my case, really it's just simple enough to look for the download button, the download page, and it'll take you to what we need. Now, if we select the Notepad 6.1.2 installer, which looks to be the, uh, the latest version. In fact, it says right here it's the current version. Now, this is the installer. It's going to keep things really easy for us. We don't need any uh, zip files or anything, any archives. We don't need the source code. We just want the program. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And uh, we can click on this and run it. And... Uh, just follow all the steps like you normally would when you're installing a new program. Go ahead and click through it, and agree to everything, and install it where you need to, install it where you need to. You can decide whether or not you want to keep these environment variables used. And now that you guys know about these environment variables, you might have a little bit more uh, understanding and be able to make a little bit more sense out of what they're saying here. You can create a shortcut, you can use that sort of thing, and you can do whatever you'd like, obviously. Go ahead and install it, and then run it when you need to. And uh, boom. Now you've got a uh, now you've got a nice new text editor that shows line numbers and a whole lot of other fancy things. You can m have multiple files open. You can see the line and everything. You can see the character encoding, whether you're on insert or overwrite mode, how many lines you have. And this is overall just a whole a whole better, <laughs> a very much better anyway, a new a better text editor for you guys. And uh, that's what I'm going to be using to write all these batch scripts and code for this series. And I hope you guys do the same. If I were on Linux or running a different operating system, I would recommend some other things like Bluefish, which I actually do have installed, but uh, I don't really think you guys are up for that, because that might be a little bit more of a different and more complex install process, but hey, <laughs> all you guys really have to worry about is Notepad++, plus, 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 Notepad++++, plus, 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 plus. <laughs> and uh, yeah. We, I've already got a shortcut and everything created for that, so we can go ahead and create some scripts with this real soon, and I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial. Goodbye.